This video is going to explore the impacts of urban sprawl. Now before we look at the impacts, we need to make sure we understand what urban sprawl actually means. So it is the physical size of towns and cities increasing and taking over areas of countryside. In other words, it's urban areas physically getting bigger. And to illustrate this process, I'm going to just show you a quick example using um, Sutton Coalfield as an illustration. So Sutton Coalfield is obviously a town to the north of Birmingham city centre. And this map that you can see on the screen was produced in 1887. So you can see the Sutton town centre sort of to the centre west of the map, where you've got the railway tracks and the station. And towards the east of the map, you can see largely countryside. Now, as we look at subsequent maps, I want you to focus on that eastern area. For example, this second map was produced in the early 1900s. So we can still see lots of countryside with perhaps a couple more buildings having been built on that uh, area. In this third map, which was produced in the 1950s, we really start to see the impact of urban sprawl because we can see a couple more roads having been built. And more importantly, we can see houses pretty much along all of those new roads that have been built across that countryside area. And finally, if we look at this map taken from Google in 2021, you can see lots of um, new buildings that have been created, like Good Hope Hospital, um, a couple of primary schools, the Premier Inn, and all of those things have been built on the land which was once uh, countryside. So this is a clear example of how urban sprawl operates. Now, if we focus on the impacts of urban sprawl, this first one, a loss of green space, is perhaps the most obvious impact that urban sprawl can have. Losing green space actually reduces people's quality of life. So there's lots of research which shows that being um, in close proximity to natural and green areas has all sorts of different benefits for people, which you can see on the screen. So losing green space reduces people's quality of life, but also has lots of environmental impacts. For example, habitats being destroyed, which then will displace animal populations. So essentially leaving animal populations without their habitat. And also uh, that will then lead to a loss of biodiversity. Remember that biodiversity just means the different plant and animal species that exist within an area. So essentially urban sprawl means that there are less plants and animals within a particular place. The second impact that we're going to focus on is an increase in traffic congestion. Remember that congestion is just a fancy way of saying traffic jams, being stuck in traffic. Now, urban sprawl is obviously creating more homes in the rural urban fringe. So more houses are being built on the very edge of towns and cities. And that means that people are obviously then going to have to commute a longer distance to get to work, which is typically um, in the city centre or the town centre. So people will move to the, the rural urban fringe because it's nicer, it's got more green spaces, um, there, you can get bigger houses and so on. But then that means that they have to commute for a longer period of time and a longer distance to get to work. And obviously, if you've got... Um, more people commuting longer distances, that's going to lead to vehicles being on the road for an increased period of time, which is going to make traffic congestion or traffic jams far more likely. Now, this third impact is linked to um, the second impact of traffic congestion. So we're now going to focus on how this links to increased air pollution. So we've already said that there's going to be more traffic congestion and when cars are at a standstill, when they can't go anywhere, we call that idling. So there's more cars which are idling, they can't move. And that idling means that air pollution is going to increase. There's going to be more air pollution that is released into the atmosphere because we've got more cars stuck in traffic with their engine on, but not being able to physically move anywhere, to drive anywhere. And obviously an increase in air pollution will then lead to both social impacts in terms of harming people's health, but also environmental impacts in terms of contributing to the uh, greenhouse effects, particularly the enhanced greenhouse effect. 
finally, the last impact that we're going to look at of urban sprawl is an increased pressure on facilities and public services. So we've already talked about how more houses are being built in the rural urban fringe, which is the area where the town or the city meets the countryside. Now, if there are more houses being built, it doesn't necessarily mean that public services like schools and healthcare facilities like GP surgeries are always built at the same time or at the same rate. So we end up with an increased population because people have moved into these new houses now trying to use the same number of public services like schools and GP surgeries, which means there's going to be a greater pressure because those facilities are now having to respond to an increased population.